Um, can you tell us about... No capisci inglese. <laughs> no capisco. No capisco inglese. <laughs> oh, mamma mia. So I have to speak Italian. Oh, okay. Oh, second take. we we'll do Italian. Um, L'Istituto Italiano di Cultura di San Francisco riapre perché si sposta di eh, location e apre a Opera Plaza, va via da North Beach, dal tuo quartiere, sì. ma apre con il nome, con il bardo, with the bar of North Beach, that is you, with an exhibition for you. Can you tell us something? L'Istituto Italiano di Cultura a San Francisco apre uh, in ottobre, in ottobre, con un'esposizione uh, de, della mia pittura uh, che, che si chiama uh, Fluxare, Fluxare, uh, The European Connection. Allora, questa esposizione è About is about what? How many paintings uh, for this exhibition? Sarà dodici pitture. Okay. The, the verb the verb fluxare is a, a verb that I made up when I was part of the Fluxus movement in, in Verona. Uh, it was a movement that was promoted by the gallerista Francesco Cons in Verona. And uh, we, ha we were on a television show in Verona and uh, I uh, uh, actually created this verb on camera during this television show. And uh, the host of the television show couldn't stop me because I was up. It was it was live on camera, and I just got up and went to the blackboard and created this verb. And so now uh, I transferred the, what I wrote onto a canvas, and that's going to be in the show at the uh, Instituto Culturale a San Francisco. Bene. Uh, what does he mean, fluxare, this verb? Flux, <laughs> fluxare <laughs> means to make love without sex, or with, to make love without touching. Oh, great. And so, the, there's no verb in the Italian language for, for this meaning. And so I, I propose that this verb be entered into all Italian dictionaries. I don't know how this is done, but how does a new verb get into a dictionary? I think it's time to propose officially that this verb be entered in, into Italian dictionaries. Awesome. That's amazing because at the end of the day, that's what a poet means for humanity. You're leaving us a verb. Yeah. You're giving us a verb. Yeah. Good. And um, so the paintings of uh, We'll go through 18, 12 uh, paintings uh, under this idea of also European connection. Yeah, Why? Because the, I chose paintings that had some connection with Europe. For instance, there's a painting about, uh, uh, about uh, um, Rodin. There's, yeah, there's a, a Rodin painting, a, a painting based on a photograph of Rodin's funeral in Paris, outside of Paris in 1914. And then there's a, a Proust painting, a, a Marcel Proust, and then there's, there's a... Mother Russia? The, the big painting of with the statue of... Oh, Samothrace? Yeah, a big painting of Samothrace. Uh, 
la nike di samotraccia la nike e poi ci sono alcune donne che sembrano vaguely europee Mother Russia too? Oh yeah, Mother Russia, which is a really, it's a six foot painting and I think it's my favorite painting. Wow. And also I've seen, we're going to see Bagno di Seni. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> it's very funny, it looks like Fellini humor. Which I painted in uh, Verona and immediately sold and when I got back to San Francisco I i painted another one, which is the one that's being shown here. Oh, great. And... Uh, well, the Banjo de Senio was, was exhibited in a, my exhibition in Verona, which was in the house of, uh, of uh, Juliet. Uh, uh, Julieta. I, I believe the house is now owned by the city, and the, the city lets... Uh, They have uh, various kinds of uh, exhibitions there, and we were allowed to use it for my exhibition. And so this painting of, uh, of uh, Banyo di Seni was exhibited just a few feet from where, from where Juliet would have been standing on her balcony. Wonderful. And also, what about Ted de Toro? Pablo Picasso, Jean? The what? The one about Picasso? There is a Tête de Toro. Oh yeah, well, it's a, it's based on the, on the Picasso did a, a Tête de Toro which was made of a bicycle seat. Uh -huh. A bicycle seat and, and, and two handlebars with the horns on the, on the on the toro on the toro so i painted it as call it uh, picasso jean he was a young toro great good and uh, let's go to the fact that october looks like a great month for what you are doing because on october 20th there's going to be the launch of your recent book published by Legwright. Yeah, uh, this is a, uh, my travel journals, 1960 to 2010. It's published by uh, Horace Liveright Books, which is part of uh, Norton and Son in New York. And so it's, uh, it's almost 500 pages with quite a few of my, my own drawings in it also. And, uh, and uh, We're going to have a book launch at City Lights, at City Lights Bookstore on October 20th in San Francisco. And so uh, the editors of the book are Gianna Diano, who is Calabrese, and also Mac, Matt Gleason, who is American, who worked at City Lights. And the two of them edited the book from notebooks I had in the The ba my archive at the Bancroft Library at University of California, Berkeley. So they are coming for uh, the launch of the book? Yeah, they're coming. Uh, 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 Matt Gleason is coming from Oaxaca, where he has been, uh, he's been there almost a year now, and uh, Jada is coming from, from, from Reggio Calabria. So it's, uh, the title is What's the title of the book? The, the book is uh, uh, Writing Across the Landscape, Travel Journals, uh, 1960-2010. Oh, great. So you keep on traveling and make the people travel. Yeah. They come into... But uh, I'm not traveling very much anymore. <laughs> But recently you were in Paris. Yeah, I was in Paris just for two weeks to visit. Uh, Shakespeare and Company, which was founded by my oldest friend, George Whitman, who died about four years ago, five years ago. George Whitman's Shakespeare and Company is now being run by his daughter, Sylvia, who is named after Sylvia Beach, who had the original Shakespeare and Company in Paris in the 1930s, and in, in a different location. It's not 
The present Shakespeare and Company is not in the same location as the original Shakespeare and Company. The, the, the present Shakespeare and Company is on the quay face, facing Notre Dame. It's on the left bank at 37 Rue de la Boucherie, 37 Rue de la Boucherie. And uh, it's a little cleaner than when George had it. <laughs> But uh, besides that, it's the same. Well, so you can invite all the Italians to come and visit San Francisco, also to discover the new location of the Instituto with your paintings. Yes, and they can come and speak Italian with the North Beach Italians who, who speak North Beach Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> and can you decline the verb? How is it, fluxare? How does it work, all the persons? Can you say that? I can't remember. <laughs> you cannot? How do you say? Io fluxo? If I had the text, I would read it to you. Okay. Stop it. <laughs>